Fatima's Art Show. Today I am going to show you all the different things I made for my daughter's My Little Pony party and hopefully maybe it will help you if you're planning a My Little Pony party. Maybe it will give you some ideas on the different things you can make. Okay, so let me show you around. Welcome everyone to the My Little Pony party. These are the main tables. I haven't put the food on the tables yet as you can see but I've just kind of prepared the decorations just now so I'm just gonna kind of show you um, the decorations first and then later I'll show you the food okay so I'll start from this corner and I'm gonna sh first show you these decorations that I've made they're super super easy to make and you don't need to use glue or anything so um, it's just paper and scissors some balloons and these are some clouds that I've made with my children and I've put them up as well I've got the rainbow fabric that I got from the fabric shop going down I've made a pin the cutie mark on Applejack. Applejack is my daughter's favourite pony and the way I've made this is I've just printed um, the different sections of Applejack with A4 paper and then I stuck them all together to create the Applejack. Um, if you've got the image you can just kind of crop different sections and then just print them out separately and then stick them together with some sellotape or double sided tape. I've just put a little mark saying cutie mark goes here so everyone knows where the cutie mark goes just in case someone's not familiar with My Little Pony and I've also made some cutie marks here um, I've just printed them out on normal paper you can print them out on card or you can back them with some card so you can print them out on paper and then stick them onto card if you prefer on the back I've put some double sided tape so when it's time, you just peel off the double-sided tape and you play the game. On this table, I have made Rainbow Dash Bath Salt. Um, I just got these from Ikea. And, and then what I did, I just printed out this, which I just made on Photoshop. Got an image of Rainbow Dash and then wrote Rainbow Dash Bath Salts. And this is for the bath salt um, activity that we're going to be making. We're going to be making some rainbow um, different colors. Well, basically, we're going to be getting lots of different um, salts. And then we're going to be dyeing them, which I'll show you a tutorial for. And then we'll just place them on top of the other. Okay, so then here I've just got some nice fresh flowers. I love fresh flowers. I always buy fresh flowers for all my children's birthday parties. Um, just love having them there. Okay, moving on. You've got a sort of the main attraction. Um, so here um, I've made some of these fan-like, flowered-like tissue paper decorations, which are lovely, and I love them, and I've used lots of different colors, as you can see. Um, and again, they're super easy to make. I will show you a tutorial for that as well. I have put Happy Sixth Birthday, Sarah. You can print that out, um, so um, you can print that out yourself, or you can get it made. There's lots of companies on eBay and on other sites that you can just get them personalized to um, you. So I just got it personalized um, to, to basically say happy sixth birthday, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, should I just do the top bit actually and then I'll go down. Okay, so here I've just got a poster of all the My Little Pony characters. I just thought it would be really lovely just to kind of show everybody. So when I saw this online, I was like, i got to get this poster. It's such a lovely poster of everyone. All together, it's like a big family photo. So I thought I'll get that for um, the My Little Pony party. A uh, little what else going, going here. Okay, so here we've got um, another cloud. Um, and also I'll talk about these stickers very soon. I just want to move on to this section and I'll show you the other bits. 
Um, so here we've got um, Rainbow Dash, which is just a helium balloon. I haven't done a lot of helium balloons. I've just done a few to add some nice touches. So here I've got some helium balloons. These I wasn't sure what to do with. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them just yet. But maybe the kids should just play with them. Um, they're just kind of long balloons. They're lovely long spiral balloons and they come in different colours. I've just put them on the corner there. So here, uh, as you might have noticed, I have an arch. Which again, I didn't get anyone to make this. I made it myself. So basically, you can buy balloons that um, make an arch online. And I just got these and I um, put them together. So it's very simple as well to put together. Okay, moving on to the table. Um, like I said, I haven't put the food yet, but again, I'll just show you what I've got so far. I have um, the different uh, fizzy drinks. I've done the same thing with the juice drinks. I am gonna put this back in the fridge because I think they need to go in the fridge so they're nice and cool. And what I've done is I've just kind of put a, a label. Um, so happy sixth birthday, Sarah. Again, customized it on, I've customized it on um, Photoshop. Um, I will say one thing, and I think I should have put a layer of sellotape on the top because uh, when I put it in the fridge, this is what happened, everything kind of smudged, um, which wasn't great. I might either replace these or just leave them at the, as they are. I'll see what, if I've got time. Um, but also, as you can see, these ones kind of smudged. Oh, no. So um, if you're doing something like this, if you're covering something that you're going to put in the fridge, um, put a layer of sellotape on the top to protect it. So, yeah, I might change those. Okay, moving on. Um, a doll's house. This is a doll house that I had. It's not on my little pony doll house. It's just a doll house that my daughter has. And I thought it'll make a kind of nice... Um, sort of setting for my table um, and um, here I've got some heart lights which I've just put at the back here so I've got some heart lights lovely heart lights and uh, my daughter just has this pony and I thought oh, something fell okay anyway um, so yeah um, my daughter just has this pony which like I said Applejack is her favorite and I've just put her here at the top of the balcony looking at everyone um, so um, just to kind of describe to you how I put the lights I feel like I need to fix them on a bit better than this but because what I've done I've just kind of um, put some sellotape and just put them on with sellotape some sticky tape at the back so just some lovely sticky tape as you can see um, some of them I need to fix a bit better like I said um, and also um, the battery compartment so it's not electric it's just um with batteries and you can just hide that at the back so nobody sees it and you can just kind of sneak your hand at the back and then change the lighting um what i love about this also is that sometimes when i'm saying happy birthday to you and i've got the um the cake here it will be nice to kind of shut the lights and you'll see it nicely glowing let me just do that there you go look Lovely, isn't it? Glows really nicely. I just shut uh, the light I'm using to kind of create more lighting in the room, but I can absolutely, I can shut the other light. Just bear with me one second while I shut the other light. Okay. Oh, there you go. And as you can see, it's glowing! And you can see the lovely silhouette. Okay, so, I mean, it's just something you can do if you want to do. Just an idea. Okay, let me go back and switch on the light again. Here, I've just bought some ice cream bowls. So we've got some nice ice cream bowls. And I'm just going to put little sort of snacks and nibbles and bits and um, lovely things you can kind of munch on while the party's going. And I also want to say that when the food is here... I just place it before the guests come and then they could help themselves and that way it will avoid me going up and down, up and down, going to the kitchen and worrying if they've got the stuff they need. So that's a good tip. Um, so yeah, I've done the same thing to all the water bottles where I've put these. Obviously, I haven't put these in the fridge. I'm not going to. 
um, because um, it's getting a bit cold outside and I think just normal water will be fine. It doesn't have to be very cold. I could always put some ice if anyone wants to make it. Put a few ice cubes in there, which I doubt they would for their kids, but you never know. Um, on the table here, I've just put it here, but I haven't put it on the cupcakes yet. I've got some rice paper, um, which again I ordered. And it has all the different um, My Little Ponies. And I'm gonna be placing these on some of the cupcakes. And I'm also gonna be placing these on the cupcakes as well. Um, there are lots of My Little Pony cuts, cutouts. These are edible. And I, like I said, I bought them online. They are edible. And I'm gonna be placing them on the cake. And I believe you can also get things like these personalized if you want to, so your kid's name on the cupcakes. Um, here I've just printed out, again, it's all Photoshop and me um, going on Photoshop and just writing um, what I would like. So I know what the menu is, so I've got here, I'm going to have a selection of rainbow sweets. So I'm going to have that. Um, I've got apple jacks fruit salad, which I'm going to be putting. Um, cheese and cucumber sandwich. So these ones are for the different sandwiches, these ones. Um, then you've got... Um, pasta and sandwiches which is going to be kind of the, the front bit My Little Pony cupcakes so we're going to have the different pot cupcakes and again here we've got chicken wraps tuna sandwiches dips I haven't done it for everything I've just done it for some things I mean I'm not going to go I mean this is already overboard but I'm not going to go seriously overboard and put it on every single little thing that I've made um, I just thought it will give it a nice touch to put it on some stuff what do you think guys? Maybe you agree? I don't know. But anyway, um, so what else have I, do I need to show you? I'm going to move on to the ceiling. Let me show you the ceiling. It might be a bit dark because I've got no lighting projecting the ceiling. But basically, um, do you remember when I got the fabric? This is what I used the fabric for. I put some fabric. We've got blue fabric going from that light, tied to that light, and then going to the middle of the ceiling. And then you've got another fabric tied up from there, going to there. Another fabric going from the, the pole, person pole, again to the centre and then the yellow. You know, you get the gist of it, you get it. And then in the middle I've just put um, the different um, pieces of fabric that you saw, the different samples that you can get basically instead of buying the whole roll and I've just put, placed it in the center and I've put some balloons to style it out and I've put again some more of this ribbon, this lovely pink ribbon hanging down. The stickers. Now you might have seen it in the, on the other side. I have bought some f a few vinyl stickers and I've just kind of stuck them around the room. And I love these, these are wall vinyl stickers and you can put them and they'll stay there, they won't move, they won't fall, um, they're very good. I've used them in my kids rooms before and they are lovely and when I saw them I was like brilliant, I can stack these around the room. Um, here I've got another tissue paper decoration and actually I am so proud of my daughter because she made this hoop decoration all by herself. Um, the other one I made, this one she actually made all by herself, so I was really pleased with her help. And we've got a little spiky, let me zoom in, spiky, there he is, lovely spiky. Okay, another helium balloon on that corner, and we've got, oh, where is it? We've got the piñata. So we've got the piñata which we made and I'm going to show you how to make it. It's not a piñata that you hit, it's a piñata that you pull the string. Actually I forgot to show you one thing and that is the party bags, well party boxes. Here I've got, um, I had this glass cabinet which I had all my fancy cutlery in um, but then I decided now I'll just put um, all my boxes party boxes so um let me open it up i've put a child lock because i don't want the kids to open it before the end of the party i like to give them out at the end 
so it doesn't make a big mess and um, they don't lose all their party bags so as they leave i will do this oh i'm finding it hard doing it with one hand while filming but actually i managed to do it hooray let me open it okay so inside i have just put um some lovely rainbow um wrapping paper which i found from the shop it was just one pound a roll which was lovely and i just put it from the top to the bottom and i got these different colored boxes so you've got pink yellow and green so you can get any absolutely any image you want and then you can just write whatever you want on it and stick it on your box or your your bag or whatever you want to kind of use open it so inside you have a juice drink let me just drop this you've got a juice drink so i've just put a, a nice juice drink they could drink it's not my little pony themed if you want to change it you could always add a sticker or something my little pony just to kind of add it make it a bit more customized but i felt like it was fine if you just put anything in there and then we've got some crisps and then what else have i put in there yeah, I've put some chocolate and I've put some bubbles and we've got the stick inside as well and I've put one of these you can blow them and make loads of racket and annoy your parents lovely aren't they okay so I will put these inside again I mean, I've kept it really simple. I didn't go kind of maybe over the top. I, maybe I would have liked to put just a little bit more stuff. But I kept it simple and just put a few items in there. Just as a little, you know, take with you sort of lunch box, if you call it. And of course, they're going to be getting lots of sweets and lots of different things from the party and lots of toys. And they can always add it to their box before they leave if that's what they want or that was, if that's what they want to do. This has given you a few creative ideas if you're planning a My Little Pony party. And as I've said, I am going to be doing individual uh, tutorials on how I made the different things I've shown, I've shown you today. Um, also, feel free to comment in the comment section if there's a particular thing you want to know how to make. And also click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.